guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Why are your lipo batteries puffing, exploding, and catching fire? Well, because you don't have powerful enough batteries for your RC is one major thing that could be doing it. Um, if it's a land vehicle, you're overgearing it. If it's a boat, you're overpropping it. Um, and of course, back to it could be that your batteries just aren't strong enough. Now, the big thing about batteries is we get scammed a lot by manufacturers. Um, some companies overrate their batteries, you know, making them out to be like the greatest thing on earth, and they sell them really cheap. And, you know, other companies, they actually tell the truth about that. And then you've got the other side of the fence where they're really expensive and um, they still blow up. You know, why? You know, well, you don't have enough power. You know, a lot of guys like, say, Mac at Max Amps batteries. Oh, they're the bomb, or they're the shit, you know, is another word for it. Um, no, I don't find them any better, really, than SMCs or a uh, few other choice brands out there. Um, you know, and SMC's got some pretty high discharge rate batteries for very little money in comparison to Max Amps, which still do what? <laughs> okay. Um, here, here's the thing. There's a mathematical calculation that you can do uh, in order to find out how much amperage your battery can put out, okay? And it's all geared towards your discharge rate and your milliamps. Now, for every 1,000 milliamps, that's one amp, okay? And most of us run usually about 5,000 milliamp batteries. Some of us run a little higher, okay? But then a lot of people, they, they, they go and they look and they're like, well, what about discharge rate? Is 25C enough? Well, um, could be or could not be. It depends on your RC, of course, whether or not a 25C discharge rate battery is going to be any good to you. So let's do some math for you guys. Okay. So the math we're going to keep pretty simple. 5,000 milliamps times... 25C divided by 1,000. That's 125 amps is what that battery can produce. Well, that's not going to run a very powerful RC at all. Um, you know, or a very big RC for that matter. Because 125 milliamps, or 125 amps. Um, I think the VXL3M 116 scale ESC, um, well, they draws about 50 I think it maxes about 50 or 100. And then you get the VXL3S and it wants a lot more. Um, and we're not even talking about hobby wing yet. And we're talking brushless ESCs to boot, okay? So you're definitely 25C at 5,000 milliamp. Don't throw it in your, your Traxxas slash uh, with stock Lenion system or any uh, system for that matter that wants more than 125 amps out of the ESC. Um, a lot of guys will be like, well, well, yeah, but it's 25C, it's tw you're not getting it, okay? You get 125 amps on a 25C battery, okay, at 5,000 milliamps, right? Which is not bad as far as runtime goes, but don't put the throttle past half because then you start peaking the ESC. Well, what's peaking the ESC? That means that the ESC is now wide open and is able to go up to all of its amperage it wants to draw, okay? And between it and your motor, okay, you're gonna be sucking the life out of that battery. So you get what's called a burst rate. And a burst rate is good for up to 10 seconds depending on the amperage that's being drawn. Now, Let's give you a little bit of power here. 7,200 milliamp battery, okay? Times that by a 90C discharge. That's 648 amps that that battery is capable of producing. Now, let's say your ESC chews up 200 amps. That means you get 30 seconds of full throttle power before you start damaging the battery. And then the battery is going to get overdrawn and it's going to start surging itself. And of course, now your ESC and your motor are going to start heating up. And once they heat up past a certain core temperature, 
they surge and start demanding more, but they can't have it because the battery can't give it because it's all out. Okay, so you've used up all that discharge rate time and now you're over drying and your battery is getting hot as hell and you go, <laughs> okay, you start puffing up, explode or catch fire. You know, one of the three is going to happen. Now, I don't care if it's a max amp battery, if it's an SMC battery, if it's an Onyx, a great hobby, great team grade hobbies battery. Um, I don't care what brand it is. It's going to go boom because you are too much on the full throttle thing. Now, in a boat, if you overprop a boat, you can cook your ESC and motor. Now, never mind your battery. It's going to go boom anyways because when you overprop a boat, it's demanding more from the motor, right? And then the motor's trying to draw that from the ESC, and the ESC's like, hey, I got nothing more for you. You maxed out a long time ago, and your battery is being overdrawn. Even a proper battery could get overdrawn, okay? And so this is why you gotta watch your propping on your boats, watch your gearing on your land vehicles. So your burst time, like I said, it depends on the amps that your system draws at max versus your battery. And if your battery does not have enough even for a five second burst, then you're screwed. You're gonna screw that battery every single time, right? Yeah, but manufacturers, they provide NIM batteries. Like Traxxas gives us NIM batteries. And yeah, you know how hot that NIM pack gets? It's burning up already after the first run. It's burning up. Also, brushed systems chew anywhere. Well, they can chew up to five times more amperage than a brushless system. Okay, up to five times. I used to have a low CSCT truck and stock, it came brushed, okay? The ESC in it, now keep in mind, this is only like a 540, 550 motor, I think it was with this thing. Anyway, it's a, an ESC that can run NIM or 2S battery. You can't run 3S, okay? And uh, anyhow, the brushed ESC peaked draw, peaked draw was 1,000 amps at, at the, when it kicks into its peak level. It wants 1,000 amps. It draws 1,000 amps. So 7,200 milliamp battery at, 50, at 90 C ain't enough. I can't pin it full throttle. If I was racing that truck, I would lose because I'd be cooking everything apart, including my battery, the second I pull the trigger because it's going to say, hey, I need a 1,000. You only got 648 for me, huh? You got to give me more, man. Like, give me more. I can't. I got no more. That's it. So what do we need? Okay, well, let's think about this. Let's say we still want to go 7,200 milliamp because you're only going to fit so, so big of a battery in there, okay? And it doesn't matter if this is a 2S battery, a 3S, a 4S, a 10S, 12 I don't care how many S it is, 7,200 milliamp, okay? Let's times that by uh, 120 and let's see what we get. That's 864 amps. We need more discharge or we need more milliamps. Okay, so let's go 8,000 milliamp battery Okay, and we're going to multiply that by 120C and divide that by 1,000. We got 960 amps. We need 40 more amps to burst that ESC, that brushed ESC for 10 seconds without causing any harm to anything. Okay, well, yeah, but you can burst it and you can do cool down runs. Yes, providing you have enough burst power to begin with out of your battery to run the damn electrical. Then yeah, you could burst for up to 10 seconds if you have 10 seconds worth of burst. Otherwise, you don't do it because what's gonna happen? Poof! And this is where batteries get bad names. This is where people go, well, these batteries are no good. They're garbage. I've had nothing but problems with them. And then I went to this battery and, and this battery was problem. And then this battery, and this one was good, but it cost me like $800 for a battery. Like, this is ridiculous. You know, it's like, it's called, you know, like, no, you're doing things wrong. Too low of a discharge, I don't care how many amp or amps you have. Okay, let's, so let's go with a 9,000 milliamp battery, okay? And, and we'll multiply that by 25C, because, you know, manufacturers say it's okay. They want you to cook the battery so you'll buy more. Get it? It's called a scam, okay? So, a, a 9,000 milliamp battery at 25C is only 225 amps. That's just barely enough to pull the trigger 
for maybe just five or five, six seconds maybe on a VXL3 SESC with stock gearing or the speed gear. And the speed gear, in fact, you know, you're going to get less than less time than that because the speed gear really hauls back the juice. Okay, it really begs for everything and then some. Okay, and we know a lot of us guys like to overgear our RCs to get more speed. Well, the more we overgear, the more we draw from the motor. The motor wants more from the ESC. The ESC doesn't have it. Everything gets cooked. You know, that's the thing. It cooks everything. Then you wonder why you're cooking ESC's motors all the time. And batteries. That's why. So that's why your LiPo batteries are going on you a lot. So I hope this information helped. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.